Hello and welcome to Cabot Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're going to talk about merging vertices. Do remember to check out the playlists in the description and the playlist on the channel for more free courses. Okay, so I'm in the default scene. I'm in 2.83 at the moment, but I think there were some changes around 2.82, so I'll go through those. If I select the default cube and press tab to go into edit mode, there's edit mode up there, and you can see I've got vertex select. Make sure that's ticked. And if I want to merge these two vertices, click one and shift click the next one. And in older versions of Blender, it used to be Alt M and you're probably seeing this menu now. So they changed it to M, which makes more sense because of a lot of the other keyboard shortcuts. Holding down the Alt key is kind of an undo option. So we've got lots of options here. We've got at first, which is the first selected, at last to so the last selected, at center, which will be the middle of the two, at the 3D cursor, collapse, which sort of seems to be the same as center, and there's by distance. So I'll choose at center for now, and you can see these vertices have joined together. So if I press G to grab and move it around, select a different one, select that one again, G to grab, and it's definitely joined. That's one way of checking that it's joined. Select away or deselect with Alt A and then reselect it and press G to grab to make sure it's connected. But I'll undo that for the moment and I'll talk about by distance. So I'll make a few edits to this cube, maybe a loop cut down here with Control R, I move one over to here and a loop cut here with Control R as well and double left click. So if I select these four vertices across here and press M to go to the merge menu and choose by distance, we get a dialog box down the bottom here. And if we open that up, you can see the distance there. We've seen no change up here. That's because the distance is too great here. Let's just quickly go to the measure tool and see how far that is. So it's about 0.36 meters. So I'll delete that and press M again by distance and we'll come down here and if I slowly start bringing this merge distance up with this arrow here, you should be able to see when it gets 2.336, I think. So watch the cube as I go beyond 3.6. And it turned out it was about 0.44. So I must have measured it really badly. But you can see those two vertices have merged together. And if I keep bringing this up, you can slowly see it merge together with the other ones. So this is a really useful tool and it used to be called remove doubles. Now it's merged by distance. Another really useful way of merging vertices is to select one and press G twice. So GG, slide it to another one. And when it hits the other one, it will be in exactly the same place. However, if I press GG again and slide it back, it hasn't actually joined them together. What you need to join them together is to press this button up here, which is auto merge vertices. So if I tick that and press GG, slide it across. And now I press G, you can see that they're joined together. Okay, so that's merging vertices. Hopefully there's some useful tips for you and that might clear some things up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.